Hi, I'm Larry Seawright from the Center for Teaching and Learning. Um, there are approximately 250 people here right now, just based on a quick count I did. How many of you, by raise of hand, teach or somehow are involved in classroom instruction directly? OK, good. Um, at, at the Center for Teaching and Learning, our primary activity, um, oh, I forgot this wasn't working. Uh, our primary activity right now that we are in, engaged in, um, some of you may think that all we do is support Nate Walton in designing all the websites at the university, uh, but that's not necessarily true. <laughs> um, Nate just actually is on a lot of committees and helps with things. Um, our primary activity is the BYU Learning Suite. Um, that's reflected in the recently approved mission statement um, our goal is to, our mission is to create, maintain, and evaluate learning tools, including a robust, stable um, learning management system, learning suite, and a system for tracking university program and learning outcomes, including how they are used to improve programs. Uh, that's why it's important for those of you who are faculty members to understand the connection between learning suite and learning outcomes. Part of the reason for um, that focus on learning outcomes is that there are different needs in, in different um, departments. One of the consequences of that is that um, each learning management system that is developed, um, BYU's in particular has, has that focus, but every LMS or a CMS is a course management system and that's kind of really what Learning Suite is. Um, has kind of a different focus. Um, there are lots and lots of tools that can aid in instruction, um, and they all want to tie to that LMS or CMS. The problem is because we're all um, developed differently, um, the commercial vendors don't have a standard, um, we don't you know, have any standard that we adhere to in terms of how we built our LMS. Um, so tool providers such as Turnitin, uh, Turnitin is a plagiarism detection software and there are some other tools associated with that as well. So they need to figure out what is the best way that they can develop um, the tools that they want to um, support and tie into which learning management systems. So uh, the industry solution is that they want to build kind of a standard interface that is accessible to most um, LMS or CMS systems. Uh, the way they wanted to do that was kind of a phased approach. Um, start out simple and go more complex. Um, so that's what they did. Um, 1.1, essentially um, it returns things back to the um, LMS, including grades, um, and then a more uh, robust um, integration, which is the one we're implementing here is um, with the deeper integration. So there's some basic certification processes that these tool providers go through that as, um, as a kind of quasi vendor here at BYU, uh, we're not going to actually go through the certification process because we don't, we don't care whether or not um, all of the vendors uh, who are LMS certified work with us, what we care about is what you care about. So as um, faculty members and others who work with um, the learning suite, um, what tools do you want to use? So there'll be a process that, that we'll use that will allow you to suggest applications that would run under this standard and, and allow um, you to use that. Um, and part of that process, and going back to what Paul said, um, one of the things that we need to be concerned about is FERPA. So because we're passing student information back and forth with this external vendor, one of the things that we'll absolutely um, require as we investigate and certify and integrate these other tools uh, is that they have certified that they're FERPA compliant and a couple of other things. 
So um, here's just a, you can see on the left, um, this is part of a larger spreadsheet. Um, these are some of the vendors um, who are already LTI certified. And you'll notice over toward the right that most of them are certified at the relatively simple level, including Turnitin. Um, and this ultimately is, uh, it's a kind of really a complicated slide, but ultimately this is where um, vendors hope to go. This is what we're doing in terms of how we're preparing for LTI integration. What we'll actually do for most vendors because of the simple way of, of their approach is that, that now the tool consumer, um, that's us. We're the, um, we consume what the tool provider is doing. So the student will launch it and send some stuff over there, that secret, all that kind of thing is, is the student information that they'll need to log in to that application. So from a, a user perspective, what they see is that they log into Learning Suite, faculty member wants them to use something that's outside, they click a link, it goes out, provides all of the, um, they don't have to log in again or any of those kinds of things. They do whatever they do there and the results are passed back. Um, those primarily, initially those results will simply be grades. Um, but we're prepared um, to do further integration. To learn more, you can go to this link. Um, I think this is, yeah, we're, we'll be publishing this so you'll be able to find that. Um, and with that, I'm going to conclude. So we're only five minutes behind schedule.